I'm in Beijing! And this is my room for the next six days. Look. Two king size beds. Yep. And here's the bathroom. Giant bathtub. I can't wait to use it. And um, there's even a scale down here. And a hair dryer. Is that a sound system? Look. my breakfast selection. These are my crabs. This is C and this is Alex. Oh, from Beijing. Yeah, we just uh, demolished some appetizers. I'll take for you. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> This is the traditional house. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a Beijing traditional house. You can see the hallways there. Yeah. The entryways, like a half. Thank you. Oh, why am I speaking in Chinese? These are, <laughs> these are the wraps for the Beijing snow stuff. These are the things you put in the wrap. We're having Beijing roast duck. We cut it into small pieces. <laughs> Time for tour number two of Hotel Sarah Staden. So I will take you for a tour. So here by the entrance, there is a um, nice base. It has ducks. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? Yes, there you go. So it's like decorated in a traditional Chinese way. There's like a Chinese painting up there. Okay, and then this is the view. Lots of construction around the 37th floor. Everything in, there's a ton of high rises in Shanghai. Okay, so one of the perks of living in a five-star hotel is an amazing breakfast buffet. Let's take a look. Here we have a juice bar. And over here we have the egg-making omelet station. Gone. This soup is really good. It's like a mushroom soup. This is the most amazing taro cupcake I've ever had. I don't even like taro. It's so good. And there's more. The hotel staff's totally staring at me weirdly. But there's more. Look. Now here's the food station. The candle looks really crunchy, different from the steaks. And then here's Dragon fruit and long yet. I was so excited to see my friend Janie that I totally forgot to vlog. The Bund is the best place to look at the skyline in Shanghai. Shanghai is divided into two, Puxi and Pudong. Pudong is this side, it's the newer side, and Puxi is the older side, this side. Shanghai was occupied by many, many European countries, which is why some of the architecture looks European. Janie is Shanghainese, so she brought me to go KTV with Miss Australia and Miss China. 
Uh, not to mention Janie is Miss Chinatown and I'm Miss Taiwanese American. And we met a lot of cool new friends. Okay, I just died and went to heaven. I'm at the, what night market am I at? Raifeng. Raifeng night market. And I'm eating xiaolongbao and oazen. at a Taiwanese salon and tomorrow I'm going to get my hair straightened so you are the first person to see my hair like this and um, we are currently getting food on top of a mountain it's Yang Ming San and Mi Kan I mean look it's beautiful you can see all of Taipei and then we got food <laughs> this is fried food and then uh, fried rice and we got food. Oh, and this is really good. It's like pineapples with, I forgot, oranges or something. This is my cousin. He's one of my favorites. This is my other favorite. His name is Yujin They're both single. So if you're looking for an eligible bachelor in Taiwan, let me know. This is the hugest oyster I've ever seen. Look. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching my vlog. I hope you learned a little bit about China and Taiwan. And uh, subscribe for more videos. I'll be releasing a skit soon with some of my good friends Julie Zahn and Josh Fu. Thanks again for watching and see you guys next time.